Alright, so this is the morning after the 2017 S concert and it happened at the Accra Sports Stadium. It was an amazing show. Late. A lot of amazing performances. So we saw Captain Planet Mountain stage to do his hit with Joe Bigel and it there. Also talking about S concert 2017, we had other interesting highlights. Shatawale. A lot of the fans, diehard fans, wanted to go and then have some moments with him. So a fan got on stage. The security guys came in to pull him off stage. He actually slapped the security guy, and that was one of the shocking moments. Well, interesting happenings there. Meanwhile, Samini has urged event organizers to stick to timing and not take artists for granted, lamenting why he walked out of the S concert venue. Samini, who feels disrespected, explained organizers kept him backstage for four hours whilst others had a field day on the stage. Yes, 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 people. I don't normally do Instagram videos. I don't normally complain like this, but guess what? This is getting out of hand and I'm sorry to the fans who came out to the stadium to see me. But I'm not doing the show and I left the stadium. So yeah, big up everybody that came out to support. Big up all Ghanaians that came out to have fun. But we have to stick to timing. We have to make sure event organizers communicate right with the artists. You don't keep me backstage for almost four hours and have me wait for people to take turns on stage while I still sit backstage without knowing what to do. So basically my call time was 1.30 and I stayed backstage till 4 o'clock and I had to leave. So. <clears throat> right, your news 360. And as I told you before, this is a surprise interview. I'm going to speak to Francis Doku. He is the general manager, MG Digital, under the MG Group. But I'm not going to speak to him as a general manager. I'm going to speak to him as an entertainment critic. Francis, good to see you. Thank you very much. Right, I see the, uh, that, I mean, the controversy in the entertainment industry would it ever end, Francis? <laughs> Thank you. No, I don't think it will. Um, yeah. I think we've seen this rivalry, especially between Shatta yeah. Ali and Samini mm -hmm. and some other musicians yeah. for a while now. I mean, if you recall some two, three years ago, mm -hmm. about three years ago at the S concert mm -hmm. uh, at the Crash Stadium, mm -hmm. similar thing happened after mm -hmm. everything. I mean, about Shatta's fans, Samini's fans, and that led into a long controversy. But this so, is fresh. What do yeah. you think about this? Well, I mean, this is fresh also. Yeah. Um, so we, we I mean, talking on the basis that mm. this should have been anticipated by mm. the organizers so that mm. adequate measures will be put in place to mm. forestall some of these things. You know, for example, uh, and, mm. and as Samini said, mm. you have a contract with an artist to perform for a certain, at mm. a certain time. 
mm. and to perform certain number of songs. Mm. I think that organizers need to make sure that they insist mm. on that happening. Because if we don't, then you inconvenience one artist against the other. Against, yeah, and yeah. All that. Some of these things will happen. So let's look at this particular stage. The problem of the other artists that Shatawali hijacked the show. How would that have affect show organizing in Ghana? Entertainment, oh, yeah. I, I don't think on that basis the mm. artist should be the one to be blamed. Mm. Because he was performing on somebody's platform. Mm. It wasn't his own show that he organized that mm. he would hijack it. It mm. was somebody's show that he invited all of them to perform. So the person who's organizing the show should know what limits to put in place. So, so, that, so you, know, you, you, you're not blaming Shatter? No, I am not blaming him because but. it is somebody's show and the person should know that Shatter shouldn't perform beyond a certain number of songs or beyond a certain hour. You make sure that if it's an hour, he performs an hour. If it's 30 mm. minutes, he performs within that 30 minutes so that the next guy can also perform. So I think that the labeling of hijacking, I, I don't think works for mm. me in this case. I think it was something that the organizer should have properly position him within a certain time to perform. You, you, you talked about anticipation in the beginning. Is this something that show organizers should be worried about? Be putting Shatawale and Samini on the same show? Well, they should really because, you know, this mm. show was hyped very strongly. The two mm. of them were allowed to trade, you know, uh, jibes at each other on social yeah. media to hype the show. Mm -hmm. So you would, you would know that they are, their fans would also come at expecting that they will see this happening. Mm. So as much as possible, I mean, we need to put in place some of these measures as event organizers when we, we see these things going to happen. Mm. If we had done that, I think that it would, some of these things that happened would have been forestalled. If the organizers had done that, some of these things would have But I think the artists themselves should come to the realization that they're mm. performing to a certain audience in a certain time. And so they need to be a bit more mature in how they handle some of these things. But above all, the organizer, should, I mean, I would place it at the should take the, blame the organizer for what whatever happened. happens on their show. Right. Francis Doku, general manager, MG Digital under the MG Group. And I interviewed him as entertainment critic or show.